Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Chicago, Mr. Don Allen. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I've invited a couple of nice people up here to do some little sneaky things for you. Your first name, dear? Rose. Rose. And your sir? Floyd. Floyd. Nice to have you with us, Lloyd. Do you, do you play cards, Lloyd? Yes, I do. You, you play cards. What type of game do you like, Lloyd? Oh, hearts. That's, that's a good game. That's good. You play cards, dear? Yes, uh-huh. What type of game do you like? Canasta. Canasta. That's a terrific game. I brought, uh, well, you play hearts. I don't know out of curiosity. Ha have you ever played with these little cards? Uh, no, I haven't. Have you ever played with these little cards? Yeah, yeah I have. These used to be called playtime cards. You know, they're nice for travel and things, but they're they're handy. They're not good for big card games, for little card games. Just for fun, Lloyd, I'm going to remove a card from this packet, and I would like you to remember that card. Can you see that card? Yes, I can. In fact, we're going to show it to everybody so that everybody in the cheap seats can see that card. Everybody, you can see the card too, Rose. That's the three of spades. Don't forget that three of spades. <laughs> Well, I like to know what the card is. <laughs> it's, call, it's called security. Yes. Is that card upside down? Oh, I see. Now, you see, the idea is not to find your card, Lloyd. The idea is to turn the card face down, put the card in the center of the little cards, and squeeze those little cards. Now, when I squeeze them hard, Lloyd, they will all grow. Right? <laughs> you see, Rose, we, we started with little cards. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> which were probably about that big, and now the rest are all big, which is a lot easier to find that way. In other words, this is what we call the big size, and this is a little tiny size. Have you seen the great big ones, Rose? Yeah, I have. You have? Do you have the feeling you're going to see them again? Slightly. Yes, all right. <laughs> by chance and by accident, embedded in my, in my best pocket here, I have one of the large size. That's one of the big size, Rose. Big size. I get this card here. I don't need all the cards here. Nobody ever takes that card anyway. Rose, take the cards in your own hand. Deal them one at a time, face down on top of them. As you do that, Rose, I will put them here. And any time you have the urge, no, that's phrased wrong. Any time you like, you stop dealing, but whenever you feel like. That's it? And you got it. She tires easily, Lloyd. Right. This is the last one you doubt. Do you like that one, or would you prefer the second one? This one here. This is a very nice card, Rose. This is a beautiful card. I like this one better. <laughs> You'd rather have that one? Yep. Put that one on top. Would you rather have the next one? No, I'm going to keep that one. That's terrific, too. <laughs> you see, Rose, you could have had that one. Actually, you could have had any of these. See, I don't understand why you dealt the two that matched here. Have you <laughs> done that before? That's, they match, Lloyd. They match. They match. Yes, 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 yes. Out of curiosity, Lloyd, have you ever done this sort of thing before? No. I tell you what, forget the cards that were face up. We'll turn those face down. Lloyd, as I do that with my thumb, would you just say the word stop at some point when I do that, all right? All right. Stop. Right there? Take out the card. Don't let me see it. Way down near the bottom. Take a little peek at that card. May I ask you a question? Do you have a picture card or a number card? Number card. Good. I can't do it with the pictures anymore. I used to, but I can't anymore, Lloyd. Whatever number you have, Lloyd, for example, if you have... If you had an eight, divide your card by two. In other words, if you had an eight, you would get a four. Those are pictures. If you had, a, that's a picture. If you get an eight, that would be a four. If you would get, those are pictures. That's whatever number you get, divide it by two, and then I will match the answer on that big card. That good trick? Yeah. Divide your number by two, and I will match it. When you divide by two as an answer, what would you get? Three and a half. So you understand, Lloyd. I just explained. See, if you, I just sound me wrong, Rose. See, if you divide your card by two. <laughs> well, that's close. No. I don't come any closer than that, Rose. I, I don't come any closer than that. I don't come any closer than that. No. No. Lloyd, take the cards in your own hand there, Lloyd. Take the whole deck. Look at the cards. Look at the faces of the cards. Do they look fairly normal to you? They do, yeah. As if anything does these days. Look at them again, Lloyd. If you see a card in there that you like, that you particularly like, take it out of the pack and put it face down on the table. All right? Okay. Don't let me see the card. That's good. And I will take the rest of the cards. Now, Lloyd, on the face of your card, which would be this side, I would like you to take this old pencil and put a little mark on your card that you can identify again. Any kind of a mark at all. 
just so you can identify it again, all right? Any kind of a mark at all. Don't let me see it. <laughs> you get caught so easily, Rose. Put your card in there, Big Stancer. You're, this will go on top of here. Now, let me ask you a personal question, Lloyd. Do, do you have an old bag? <laughs> no, no, don't say anything. Don't say anything. I, I brought you one. I brought you one of these things. Yes. You see, the host of this show told me that there was going to be a buffet here. <laughs> I brought 12 bags and no food. Out of curiosity, do you happen to see anyone hiding inside of that paper bag? No. Nobody at all. Do you see anybody in there, Rose? No. Let everybody out there see it, so you know. Now, I would like you to do me a favor, Lloyd. Put your hand on the table like that, and you will love this trick. This is a terrific trick. This is one of the better tricks I do. It really is. Look. <laughs> you right left-handed? No. Nope. Good. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, you know. Right. <laughs> Have you ever been in Chicago? No, I haven't. I see. It's not true what they say about Chicago. You hear things about Chicago, it's not true. It's just that people like to ride in trunks of cars. <laughs> it's true. Lloyd? Oops. This first time you've done this? Yes. My first time, too. I don't want him to feel too bad, you know. Lloyd, with this, I am going to find your card. Now, if I don't find the right card, Lloyd, I have the right card. You understand? Right. I will pin you to the bulletin board. I will. Yes. Lloyd, we don't even need your hand. Look, I'll place the knife over here. Somewhere in that pack, Lloyd, is your card. I do that. Photographers come in and take pictures. It looks nice, Rose. Yes. <laughs> you see that card? Probably too late. In fact, I will shuffle the cards up, and I will shuffle them face up, Rose. <laughs> do you know why I shuffle those cards face up? Because you can't shuffle them face down. No. I am looking for the mark. <laughs> I'll find that mark, Lloyd. If, if, if before I do, did I happen to bring your card to the top of the bag? No. Bottom? No. Would you like to see a little coin trick or a ball trick or anything? <laughs> no. All of those cards I'm going to put inside the little paper bag. Can you see all the cards in there? I want to make sure everybody can see the cards inside the little paper bag. Now, you see those inside rows? Yep. If I fold that up from the outside like that, what was your card, Lloyd? Ace of clubs. And you put a little mark on that card? That's right. If I take that little gadget and just do that, you see, you get a little twist, mm -hmm. somewhere in there's your card. And if I reach in the bottom, you see, that would be the whole idea, is that we would get that little card, which would be the Ace of Clubs. Is that your mark, Lloyd? Lloyd, it doesn't do the ace of clubs a lot of good. <laughs> yeah. Lloyd, when you go home tonight, I would like you to take that little card and take all those little pieces and put those under your pillow. And in the, in the middle of the night, the good fairy will come <laughs> and pull two of your teeth. You'll enjoy that. You'll like that. Yes. Rose, put the cards in the case. I'll do another trick for you, all right? Just put them right down. Put them inside there, dear. Yes, put them inside. Yes, just put them right down inside there. Well, you, well you've never done this before. I no. can see you've never done that. Well, let me, maybe, maybe this would be better if I ask you this. Do you have any money in your pocket? Let me change? Yes. Let me change? I've got, uh, th well, those are quarters, but those are probably the wrong kind. Those are American quarters. You have a Canadian quarter? I, yes, I did, sir. Oh, that's terrific. I want to explain something. Do you see that quarter right there? Yeah. Is that heads or tails? Can you That's see it? Heads. I'll light this up here so you can see it. Can you see that coin? Yeah, heads? Still heads. I see. And that's a Canadian coin, and these will discard. Hold out your pretty hands, Rose. I'm going to put the American coin over here. Hold out your other hand like that. Put the Canadian quarter. Which quarter feels heavier, dear? That's right. I'm going to explain why. Because most people, do you happen to have a cigarette of some sort? Just let me borrow a cigarette. You see, this, it's, you know, the coins are not silver anymore. They used to be silver. They don't make them in silver anymore. That's very good, sir. Thank you very much. I'm going to show you the test of the amount of silver. Now, the Canadian quarter feels heavier, right? right. I will place that over. That's your coin, Lloyd, over there. Now, if I like that, and Rose, you just relax this little hand and leave this hand here. Now, I'm going to explain something to you, Rose. That's good. Now, you see, in, in the beginning, Rose, there was fire. And centuries later came the Andrew sisters. Now, I don't tell everybody. No, no, there was Patty, there was Maxine, and Laverne. You're too young, you would remember. Now, Lloyd, the Canadian Quarter contains less copper 
than the American quarter. And copper will conduct heat. In other words, that coin will become warm. Yes. <laughs> Is that coin warm? It's getting there, yes. <laughs> it's going to get hotter. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. And when that becomes hot, Rose, believe it or not, we can actually take a Lloyd's cigarette and push it right through the center of that corridor, <laughs> and you will see the cigarette emerge from the other side. <laughs> would you like to see that, Lloyd? I would, yes. I would. <laughs> You're not too happy about that, no, are you? No, not very. <laughs> but I tell you what, so that you, not only you can see it, but those folks have it, so they can see it. You see, if that quarter were pliable and hot enough, Lloyd, and I took that cigarette, Rose, and I did that, it would look like it is stuck through there. <laughs> That's not stuck through there. See, I just wet it and I stick it on there. Because if we had penetration, that's an Anglo-Saxon word, you know, yeah. <laughs> you see, if you had penetration, you could actually, Rose, smoke right through the center of that quarter. <laughs> Rose, give that a little turn. See how that turns? Yeah, it does. See? Absolutely. Lloyd, give that a little turn. See that turn? Mm -hmm. See, that's a trick. Right. That's a trick. Now, the Canadian coin, let me show you something with my little lighter here, if I can find it. Lloyd, with your left hand, hold that lighter in your hand. Hold it over by the quarter here. Can you see that quarter? Rose, can you see that quarter? Yeah, I can see that quarter. I want, don't want you to take your eye off that quarter, Lloyd. I want you to watch that little quarter. I'm going to heal that quarter. Don't blink your eyes, just watch the little quarter as I do that. That little quarter as I do that, that little quarter will actually heal before your eyes. Yeah, that's nice. Now, cool. now, you look at that, Lloyd, and examine that quarter, and I will trade you for the Canadian quarter. Now, you've lost the quarter. <laughs> you already made the trade. Well, I tell you, do you own a football team? No, I don't. You don't get your quarterback. <laughs> I know that's a terrible joke, but it's the finish of the trick. <laughs> I've enjoyed being with you. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Don Allen, ladies and gentlemen, isn't he incredible? Come on, let's really hear it for him. One of the finest magicians in North America. Also this evening, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank from uh, Los Angeles, directly from the Magic Castle, we might say, Diana the Enchantress. Thank you, Diana. Just terrific. Two splendid guests, and we do hope that you enjoyed the show. We had a pleasure being here, and we hope you'll catch us next time. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everyone.